Well, for thousands of years, women have struggled to understand why men act the way we do. And according to a brand new book out this morning, the answer may be it's all in our heads. The book is called The Male Brain, a compendium of the latest neuroscience put together by Dr. Luann Brizendine, and she dropped by to share a little insight. If you pay attention to the cover, the male brain is made of duct tape, but this is deliberate in terms of our, our instincts. Yes, it was sort of an homage to the idea that men are fix-it guys. For example, you know, when I bring a problem home to my husband, I say, honey, you know what happened at work today and upset about something, he'll look at my face and he'll say immediately, well, honey, you know what you should do, rather than doing what I would like him to do, which would be to say first, oh, honey, Empathize. I know how you feel. Yeah. So we've taken to putting a little yellow sticky on his computer that I put up that says the sentence, honey, I know how you feel, that he's supposed to read before he launches into you know what you should do. And it, it works wonders. Uh, surprisingly, it's scripted, but I still feel that's, better when he says those words. That's hilarious. But let's uh, shift to the really the, the meatiest chapter, and it, and it drives so much of the discussion when it comes to sex. And it is a cliche that men think about sex way more than women do. There is some real biology behind the old male defense that um, this is the way I'm wired. Yes, you know, the area of for sexual pursuit, which is the technical name, inside the hypothalamus here, deep inside the brain, is 2.5 times larger mm. caused by the growth of testosterone as a fertilizer and the male gene, the Y chromosome. All during our lifetime, males report three times more interest in sex than right. females at the same age. Well, if it is hormones, if it is a certain wiring in the brain, could Tiger Woods or John Edwards claim that as their defense? These things are an explanation of the biological underpinnings of the human male brain. It doesn't mean that men don't have to learn to be civilized. But could you actually test for infidelity in a guy the way you'd test for pregnancy in a woman? Scientists have discovered that in the furry little animal, the vole, there's one who's very monogamous, he's the prairie vole, and he's a stay-at-home dad, sticks with one woman. The other cousin called the montane vole, however, is promiscuous, he's kind of a hit-and-run guy. Scientists took the gene for the vasopressin receptor gene out of the prairie vole, the monogamous guy, put it into the promiscuous one's brain. Voila, they turned him into a monogamous stay-at-home dad. So they a stay-at-home vole. That's a stay-at-home vole. <laughs> they then tested this in humans, and the longer version of this vasopressin receptor gene in humans in a Swedish study found that these males were married longer, they had um, more likely to not be divorced, and their wives reported that they had happier marriages. All right, but you do say that this is something not to blame, but to acknowledge in your man. I think that the male and female, we have natural biological predispositions and urges that are caused by a combination of our hormones. It's time to say about men, yes, they have their own urges and they have their hormones. It doesn't say uh, they can be bad behavior guys, but I right. think it's important to say it's a natural urge for men to ha run on this fuel for sexual pursuit and for sexual interest. That's why we are such a successful species because we've been doing this for lots of years. And the evolution continues. Uh, Dr. Brizendine answers more questions about her groundbreaking research on our website, abcnews.com.